During his Bitcoin for Corporation event, MicroStrategy founder and chairman Michael Saylor took a clear shot at Ethereum and other popular cryptocurrencies. According to him, Ripple, not the firm, its stock or the cryptocurrency XRP. Uh, Saylor further attacked the cryptocurrency market, calling it outright rubbish and stressing the need to counter the absurdity. Uh, although there is no evidence whatsoever, uh, reports circulating on social media sites, X among the XRP community claimed that Elon Musk was trying XRP payment for X letter. In life, Saylor feels that people appreciate intellectual honesty and trust more than perfect accuracy. He thinks that individuals wish to be able to trust others and that they don't have to be right about everything. According to Saylor, there won't be an ETF for any cryptocurrency other than Bitcoin. Hence a spot Ethereum ETF won't be permitted this summer. Uh, it is uh, ridiculous that he thinks there will never be an ETF for any coin other than Bitcoin. Because of legal developments, Saylor added, Kim Jong Gwindler and his team have no reason to approve any other cryptocurrency other than the spot Bitcoin ETF. To counter the piece remains, and anyone who doesn't agree with him can just leave the room. Essentially, Saylor bases his views and remarks on the cryptocurrency market on his conviction that Ripple is a security and that no other coin is necessary. He underlines the need for people to put their faith in others and be intellectually honest above becoming maximalist. Saylor bases his opinions on the cryptocurrency market more on the interests of other crypto enthusiasts than on personal convictions or financial advice. Uh, leading proponent of Bitcoin, Michael Saylor, has been a member of the exclusive Bitcoin Maxis Club who think that any other digital money is less advanced and decentralized than Bitcoin. Uh, the movie provides no proof to back up Saylor's assertion that Bitcoin is technologically superior to any other coin. Um, in his view, people appreciate standards and technology and find it difficult to replace something once it becomes a standard. Uh, Saylor is deceitful and intellectually dishonest when he says that decentralization is not limited to BIC. He asserts that Ethereum will become not a commodity by extension. Uh, if the spot theorem OTF is rejected, he lists everything down the stack, including Binance Coin, Solana, and XRP Cardano as unregistered crypto asset securities. Because many of these coins have been classified as securities and the SEC has filed litigation against Binance and Coinbase exchanges, this declaration is creating a lot of noise in the market. Uh, although a core hasn't yet decided the majority of the coin status, Saylor's assertion that XRP isn't an investment contract has divided opinion. As she ruled in the Ripple versus SEC case last year, Judge Analysts said that XRP is not an investment contract. Saylor bases his conviction in this on his understanding of securities rules and how the Ripple laws turned out. The footage in the video does not bolster Saylor's assertion that he is stupid and stumbling around. He is aware that XRP is a non-security and has been so stated. The testimony in the film refutes Saylor's assertion that he is a literal genius. Finally, the data in the movie refutes Saylor's claims regarding the technological supremacy and decentralization of Bitcoin. And the divisive assertions made by Saylor that XRP is not a security in Bitcoin is not a commodity begged out on the veracity of his assertions. Leading Bitcoin industry player Michael Saylor has been charged with producing unregistered cryptocurrency assets through a micro approach. According to his assertion, all other cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, BNB, Salamanca, Ripple, and Cardano will become obvious that they are only unregistered crypto asset securities if Ethereum is not legalized this summer. They will thus never be used as crypto assets by Wall Street mainstream institutional investors or spot ETFs. Based on poisonous maximalism, Saylor asserts that these coins are unregistered and that no institutional investor will take them. Other cryptocurrencies will therefore require spot ETFs of their own. Uh, nevertheless, Saylor's assertions are not true and can be swayed by his conviction in the crypto asset security cult. Sam, uh, another person voiced worries over Saylor's investing strategy as well, claiming that he benefits from persuading others of things he doesn't see. Uh, Salamanca XRP validator Ved also posted a video clip claiming that by endorsing maximalism in 2024, individuals like Saylor are stifling the business. Noting that XRP is not a security, he also posted a face palm emoji. An additional lawyer, Jeremy Hogan, posted a video declaring that Ripple won't be considered an unregistered crypto asset security this summer. Hogan maintained that unregistered Ripple will not be considered a crypto asset security. Hogan also mentioned that the language used by Saylor is similar to that of Kim Jong Guinness, which he feels is inappropriate for decentralized cryptocurrencies with open market values. He further admitted that the co-founder of Ethereum and Cardano, Charles Hoskinson company, had been critical of Bitcoiners and altcoiners.
Finally, Sayer's assertions on unregistered cryptocurrency assets and the cult mentality surrounding cryptocurrencies are not true and could cause more misunderstandings and false information. The article talks about the speculations about Elon Musk's social networking site, Twitter, and its possible connection with XRP payments. The author contends that there is no evidence supporting this event and that this conjecture is untrue. First reported on the site, the rumor sprang from a recent exchange between Ripple CEO Brad Garenhaus and X, renowned A-based cryptocurrency influencer Emily questioned uh, the reason behind the mention of X and noted that Elon Musk's social networking platform plans to soon introduce a payment system. Though there is no proof that this is happening at the moment, the author thinks Musk's public remarks imply that he plans to integrate cryptocurrency into XRP. The author also notes that there is enough fascinating activity in the actual world involving XRP and the XRP ecosystem. A few days after the first rumor surfaced, Emily showed a screen grab of a transaction on the XRP ledger with a username that indicated on November 15, 2013, this user had a balance above 16 million XRP. This individual transferred 8 million XRP at some point in 2017, according to a February article by the Crypt Basic. There are as recent transactions in this wallet as 2023. As a result, uh, the author concludes that XRP payments appear to have been tested on X and projects significant growth. Elon Musk has made it plain, as the article points out, that he is interested in Doge and Bitcoin, but not in XRP. Uh, although the author implies that this might change in the future, it is not the case at the current time. The essay ends with stressing the need to put rumors and conjecture about Elon Musk's participation in the XRP community to rest. It highlights how in the cryptocurrency world awareness and transparency are essential to prevent deceptive speculation and advance the growth of a more established asset class. Elon Musk's testing XRP payment based on alleged transactions has been refuted by VET, the XRP validator. VET explained that users are free to use any name, including Elon Musk, for their XRP accounts on wallet services or explorers. This is not an officially sanctioned practice. Elon Musk's permission is not required. He claimed to label this account. Vet has been emphasized on his channel several times, and he is knowledgeable. He officially has 31,100 followers and tweeted a headline purporting to infuse 104 billion into XRP people. Therefore, he has also been under fire for telling obvious lies. Reposted 265 times, this headline has been viewed 86,000 times. Uh, the vet understands the circumstance since he finds it offensive when individuals lie to other people while he can't say for sure. Technically, he finds it nearly impossible to think that this man believes what he's saying. Quiet response. He sent him phony news that he thought was real and credible, but he didn't answer him back. Vet advises people to accept their mistakes and to be intellectually honest. He feels that living in that manner damages trust and could result in others living with him. He uh, exhorts others to share with them politely and without lying. He thinks that's not the best approach to life and that occasionally being incorrect is acceptable. Vet has always been about intellectual honesty and the acceptance of mistakes. People should, uh, in his opinion, be conscious of their prejudices and not be reluctant to own up to their mistakes. If someone knows they're incorrect, he exhorts them to use this in their life since it's preferable to lying. He thinks that this year will bring insane action for XRP as long as there is a suitable alt season because of the amazing XRP community. 